so here in this question when a plane mirror is placed horizontally on a level ground at a distance of 40 meter from the foot of a tower the top of the tower and its image subtends 90 degree at the eye so we have to find what is the height of the tower so let me underline some important things which mirror we are using we are using a plane mirror uh, and it is placed horizontally on a leveled ground at a distance of 40 meters from the foot of a tower so it's at 40 meters from foot of a tower and the top of the tower and its image subtends an angle of 90 degree at the eye so these are the important points we need to understand so let me draw it to make it more clear so let me first draw a tower uh, any tower you can draw a uh, single line is enough so let me draw it so I'm drawing here a tower uh, say let me, let me draw a clock tower so this is a clock tower I'm drawing a clock tower here clock tower okay and there is a clock okay let me add some features to it Clock tower will tell time to the whole city, right? Top of the tower, let's make it conical, right? Some shadowing. Adding some textures to this tower. Yes. So this is our clock tower. So from the clock tower, where is the mirror? 40 meters away from the mirror. So let uh, this be 40 meters. right so there i have to place what i need to place that a plane mirror so this is my plane mirror i will place a smaller one okay see there this plane mirror and it is 40 meters away from the foot of the tower as given in the question and uh, plane mirror is very small compared to the distance 40 meters and uh, one of the ray falls on the plane mirror one of the ray falls on the plane mirror okay let me go a little bit okay so this is the it is falling on the plane mirror remember it doesn't ma matter where that ray falls on the plane mirror because plane mirror is small compared to the distance 40 meter so this distance almost negligible when compare when I compare real in reality when I compare 40 meters. So this distance is negligible. Then what are the things we have? It falls here. Then after that it will reflect, right? So let me draw it reflection. Let me draw reflection from here. So it falls here and then it reflects so reflection so from the question it says uh, the angle subtended okay the angle subtended by the top and the image at the eye and the image at the eye that is the, this angle is how much 90 degree so how to solve this question so this is i hope the, you have understood the question and uh, here someone is there who is watching it and it is that person's eye okay this is the eye and this is the eye bro yeah so this is the question i suppose this is clear now now if you know the basics of uh, reflection at the this is the point of incidence right so from the point of incidence uh, what i am supposed to draw i am supposed to draw the normal so this is the normal let me draw it a little bit longer 
so normal makes 90 degree with the mirror remember this normal makes normal is normal to the mirror it makes 90 degree with the mirror so what is this angle what is this angle this angle is angle of incidence angle between the incident ray and the normal angle of incidence what is this angle of reflection angle between the normal and the reflected ray angle of reflection so from the figure you can see that i angle i plus angle r is equal to 90 degree from the figure you can see and you also know from laws of reflection that uh, angle i is equal to angle r so if these two angles are equal if these two angles are equal then can, uh, we can say angle i is equal to angle r so both equal so what is the angle i equal to angle r will be equal to 90 by 2 that is 45 degrees so how much is this i is equal to 45 degrees how much is r r is equal to 45 degrees clear now using basic geometry okay this is normal here this is normal and uh, here the clock is also standing normal to the ground so these and this both are parallel if this is 45 degrees then this is also 45 degrees see that this is also 45 degrees these two are parallel to each other so alternate interior angles basic geometry if this is 45 degree so this is 90 degree remember tower is standing perpendicular to the ground so how much is this this is also 45 degrees so this angle is 45 this angle is 45 so it's in this triangle this is isosceles triangle isosceles right angle triangle so opposite sides opposite sides angle opposite to equal sorry sides opposite to equal angles are equal so if this is 40 then this will also be 40 meters that is the property of triangles angles sorry sides opposite to equal angles are equal so 45 degree opposite 40 this 45 degree opposite will also be 40 like that you can solve so what is the height of the tower height of the tower let me write it as a h h is equal to 40 meters are you convinced with this if you are not convinced we can also use trigonometry uh, take the triangle let me name this as a, a b b is the foot of the tower c is the top of the tower a b c so let me write it as a b c okay so in triangle a b c which is right angle at b tan 45 is equal to tan 45 degree is equal to let me call this as h height h y Per, uh, perpendicular by base 40 how much is tan 40 tan 40 is 1 1 is equal to h by 40 so h is equal to 40 meters so like this also you can say if you are not convinced to do this then in the both case you are going to get height 40 meters